Captain, Captain, there be land ahead. All right, me hearties. We're about to land on that amazing huge island. Okay, scratch that. We're about to land on a tiny island. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Super Sonic JB, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Windmaker HD for the Wii U. So, last time, we uh, completed the Wind Temple with Makar and took on the boss. And today, we're going to continue on and look for the Triforce charts and shards. And if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and please comment and subscribe to my channel. That really helps out a lot. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is going to warp over to this location over here. It's by Great Fish Isle, I think. I think it's over here, yeah. And a warp on over here. And we're also going to try and find our first Triforce chart. So wish me luck, because this part is kind of, like, annoying trying to find all the islands, especially when you don't have your sea chart upgraded like me, but, but, you know, it's fine. This is more of a relaxing part of the game. You get to relax, do some side quests before you're about to take on Ganondorf. So, yeah, it's not that bad. Alright, so we're going to sail off to this island over here, or this battleship area or something like that. Gonna challenge the big, the big uh, guy right here, and hopefully not get killed, because he will try and take us out. Now let's go. And I still managed to get hit, even though I was trying to, so hard to avoid it. Alright, so right here is like a little uh, empty area. It's like, but there's nothing here. But there is. <laughs> We're gonna just break on these pots. Is there anything good in here? A lot of rupees in that one. Nice. Money, 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 money. Alright, so it's out of the way. We have a little pattern thing on here. Designs that reflect wind are drawn here. Alright, so that gives a hint to bring out the Wind Waker, so. Let's do the Wind's Requiem. And that will cause a chest to appear. Here we go, it's a fancy looking chest, so there should be something good in it. Alright, what did we get, what did we get, what could it be? We got the Triforce chart. Alright, so yeah, there I think there's three of those in the HD version. It's weird because in the original version, this was like one of my least favorite parts of the game. Because you had like eight of these, and you had to take them all back to Tingle, and you had to read them, and it was just very annoying. Alright, but next thing we're going to do is we're going to warp over back to uh, Windfall Island. And we're going to do a little bit of side quests. Warp on over there, Link. Whee! The island's so big. By big, I mean tall, not like long. Alright, so we return to this island once again. It has been a while since we've been here. But we are here to um, do some side quests. Alright, I believe we have to like, go around here or something. We have to go talk to this lady. Oh, hey, look at this chick. Isn't this the girl we rescued? Hey you, come on, use your head. You can't just stand there like that. You're in my way. Can't you move? Oops, that won't do. That won't do at all. Already I'm back to my old habits. I'm terribly sorry. Really, I am. Um, welcome to you, sir. This way to Windfall's outdoor shop. Chock full of fun, happy products. Alright, whatever you say, lady. Yeah, she's just trying to tell us about something. Let's, we're, we're gonna go on in here. And we're gonna talk to this teacher lady. Mrs. Teacher lady, Mrs. Teacher lady. Welcome to Miss Mary's School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you new people? Alright, can I talk to her again? What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. 
I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you, I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Wimpo Island? 20 years. Oh. Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. Here it's used to link with gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. You and I would patiently... Eat. I wait patiently for those boys to show up and never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Well, lady, if I was you, I'd just give them a big spanking. That's what their dad should do to them. Could you please catch your leader, that little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense into him for me? Please, young man, for me. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're such a dear. You're such troublesome boys. I'm on my wit's end over how to handle them. But they won't be so mean to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. Good luck, young man. Well, I don't think you're really my age, but... You know, we'll give it a try. Talk to these little delinquents. I would just hit them with my sword or something, but... What what you gonna do? Yeah! yeah. Yo, bud, you got a problem with dust killer bees, huh? Do ya? Don't tell me it's that annoying hag of a teacher again. Is it cheese, skid? You came here to give us a talking to because Mrs. Mary asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're in a mighty invincible gang of four, the killer bees. You think we listen to a trump like you? Yes, you will. I'll have your dad spanking you. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, bud. If you're going to challenge us to a competition, then we'll maybe think about listening a little bit. What do you say, bud? You want to challenge us? I'll take you on. Is it a fight to the death? Oh, you're a funeral, bud. The rules are simple. It's a fight to the death, duh. We're gonna go hide somewhere. If you find us, we're gonna run. You gotta try and catch us. Easy as that, bud. We're gonna hide indoors. We're not gonna hide indoors, and we won't lead to silence. So look for us around in the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. You catch all four of us. We lose. You got it, bud. Ready? Go! Hey, you kids better run before I come here with my sword and spank you right with it. <laughs> Alright, so I think I know by heart where they're all at. Alright, so first things first, this one, this tree is a ram our head against it. Ain't get that old boy. Yep, they're gonna try running away. Get back here, you. No, 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 shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Good god, you ever done talking now? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Kill him, kill him. No, 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 not again. Shut up! Shut up! I don't care about your problems with life. Gotcha. Give you a big spanking. Arr, you got me. I got you. Got you right where I want you, you little brat. Alright, I believe there's one up here somewhere. And he's right over here somewhere. Alright, you come on out. There you are. I found you. Put him up. Whoa, that kid's just like... <laughs> just jumps off a cliff and he's perfectly fine. He's got some jumping power there, man. Gotcha. You're awesome. Thank you. I know I'm awesome. No, I don't want to talk to you, moon guy. I'm not trying to moon you or anything. <laughs> Alright, so there's one, uh... I think there's one over here behind this island. We're just gonna try and run over there and get him. I kinda wonder if I can... Yes, I can. There he is. Hey, you are a kid. Come to me. What are you running away from? And he just does the same thing the other kid did. No broken legs or anything. What a letdown. Don't worry, kid. I'll break your leg. <laughs> I did not mean that. Alright, this kid's the annoying one. Because he won't come here. There we go. Got ya. Ah, lame. You're lame. Here's those little girls. Those little girls are like, why are you bothering us, mister? I don't know why I use a country accent for them. <laughs> Alright, so you see Elvis over here. 
The last kid is behind his grave. What? Not Elvis's grave, uh, the grave he's dancing in front of. Hello. That's right, you jump off that cliff, kid. If you jumped off the cliff and a shark jumped out of the water. And no, Elvis, Elvis, no. Okay, that's happening a lot in this episode. Alright, come here, you. Come here. Come, come here. Come get your spanking. Come get your spanking, kid. Okay, kid. Oh my god. I don't care, little girls. I'm ignoring you. Yes, I'm a stinker right now. Come here, kid. Die already. See, this is annoying. Come here, you little brat. Gotcha. God, you got me. In your face, kid. Arg, I can't believe it. You found all four of us, and you caught us all too. Talk about utter defeat. Looks like we lost our touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out from now on. We won't cause no more trouble for anyone. And to reward your hide and seek skills here, take this, bud. And with that, we got a piece of heart. There we go. This is our favorite possession, but you've proven that you're worthy. To our bud, the hide and seek master. Oh, one more thing. We need you to apologize to Mrs. Mary for us, alright? We're counting on you, bud. Alright, we're gonna go apologize to her because these kids are chickens and they don't like to apologize to old lady teachers. Mrs. Mary, Mrs. Mary, what can I do for you? We need to talk. You did it, didn't you? You said something to those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me. I watched it all from the shadow of my door. Wow, you were spying, stalker. You really are, dear. You fill me with joy. I have to reward you, so here's a little spare change. Bribing kids, wow. Oh, one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Alright, I won't tell anybody. Hey, everybody, look who Miss. Look how much money Miss Mary gave me. Alright, we're just gonna walk on up to them. Hey, sounds like you apologize to teach for us. Good old Mrs. Mary. And speaking of Bud, did you know it's gonna be Mrs. Mary's birthday soon? Boss, oh boss, you think maybe we should give her some kind of present or something? Don't be stupid, we're the killer bees. We ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything else in the world. She'll be into these days what she'll call them joy pennants. Really? Where do you think we'll find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find them, we should give them to teach as a present and she'd be all happy. Hey, now I think about it, when I was climbing trees the other day, I saw some sparkly light on the top of some tree in town. Where was that? Maybe that's one of those pennants. What do you think, boss? Nah, that's crazy talk. Alright, so that gives the hint to go look on one of these trees in town. And it's a tree that's all the way down here. So we have to go down here and get the joy pennant. Yeah, it's like all the way down here. I think it's this tree over here, I believe. Let's ram our head into it. Here we go, it's this one. And we got a joy pendant. We. Yo, bud, looks like you found yourself a joy pendant. Solid work. Oh, how'd you guys get here? Actually, I gotta admit, we hid that thing up in that tree. We thought you might find it. Alright, so you had me go get a present for her that you hid up the tree. Wow, brilliant. Listen up, it's gonna be Mrs. Mary's birthday soon. We're thinking of giving her a present, so it was good that we finally got our hands on that thing. But we can't do nothing about giving presents to people. No way, we just don't fit the killer bee style. Come on, bud, can't you give it to the teach for us, can't ya? It's not like we should ask just anybody to do it for us, neither. It's gonna be somebody's reliable who can keep a secret. You're the only one we could ask, bud. Yeah, I've known you guys for like five whole minutes or something, and you already trust me. It's like giving a teacher a present that's uh, pretty common around these parts. Yeah, that's amazing. Actually, I never really talked to this guy, I never think about it. Being poor must be pretty rough. You take one look at me, that's the first thing you think, isn't it? I ask you why is that? Sure, the days can get kind of tough, but good things still happen, don't they? Money doesn't make the sunshine, you know? 
Just recently, my missing daughter, Myla, has returned to me. I didn't think I would ever feel more joyful. But then she went and started working at the shop to help out with our tight family finances. What a trooper. Could that girl be any more of an angel? Although I do worry about how she always seems to sneak out at night. Is there any shop in this town that's open at night? The look in your eyes seems to imply that you have something to say. Well, what is it? Are you suggesting I should go to work too? Of course you should. Oh, but oh, my back has truly been hurting me of late. Really just aching if I were 20 years younger. Oh, you liar. Get out of here. Anybody can hurt their back doing work and fake it. Alright, so next we're gonna go back to the lady. Yeah, if you're wondering, that was a guy who I broke the pots from way back in episode 3. Yep, and he was angry at me and he said, if you break another one, I'm going to charge you rupees for that. And I said, oh, screw you, bro. Alright, we're going to talk to her once again. What could it be on this fine day? We need to talk. I got the children of Myers never see me. Someday, dear, you will grow to be a fine young man. Your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to give it to her. Alright, so let's put that and give her joy pendants. Here you go, lady. My dear, that's a joy pendant. Oh, a little bit too happy there. To tell you the truth, I love jewelry about all else. And that, why, that is extremely rare and hard to come by. It's the hottest thing around, dear. Well, it's not really rare. I find them in dungeons all the time. Enemies carry them. Oh my, yes, I'll happily take a single one from you. No, no, I insist, only one. To tell you the truth, I rather like... I actually like about 20 of them, but that would probably only happen in my wallets of dreams. You know, I've been a teacher here for a long time, but it's tough to put one past me. That being said, I'm pretty sure I know who put the, uh, you up to this. Those little sweeties, I'm so joyful. It's the best birthday present I could ask for. I suppose I ought to thank you. Close your eyes, dear. Wow, robbing a student again. Wow. As if you see those boys again, tell them I say hello. Alright, but we're not done with her. We're gonna give her more gem joy pendants. Why did you bring me more joy pendants yet again? How many you had? 25? Why well, I think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me? They're easy to find, lady. Oh, your teacher is very impressed by your efforts, little dear. My whole body is numb with the thrill of excitement. So this is what pure joy feels like. I'll take precisely 20 of them, thank you. That will be just fine. My heart will be all floor flutter. I don't know if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. And just as I promise, I'll reward you for going out and collecting all of these for me. I'm going to give you a wonderful, splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. And we got the cabana deed. It's written on yellow parchment. It's quite old. Dum dum dum. You see, although I am a mere teacher, I am a very old cabana in a tropical oasis down south, but lately I haven't made use of it at all, so you can have it. <laughs> oh, it's alright, dear. You can stop gazing in amazement now. Now you have the steed. That cabana is all yours. You own it. So whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I'm getting on in age, and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me as of late. Now I can just stay here and relax and continue my work with the children. And just so you know, you'll find a place at southeast of here. It's on a tiny, lonely little isle near the Triangle Islands. From now on, it is your own little bachelor pad. Good luck finding it. Oh, one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. Man, this lady's just bribing me with everything. It's one thing giving a kid money and then giving the kid an entire, like, like uh, apartment place thingy. That's just amazing. Solid work. An amazing job by you, teacher. Alright, so we can go down near end, but first, I'm gonna do some side quests. Alright, I'm trying to remember what to do. I think we gotta turn it into nighttime. I'm trying at nighttime and do some side quests here. Oh, wait, I did not mean to do that one. I'm so sorry. It is a. Uh, there we go. Song of Passing. There we go. Alright, we're going to turn it into nighttime and do another side quest. First thing we're going to do is go on down here. Talk to this lady. Yeah, what's up? Shh. 
Take off. Go away. Whatever you say, lady. But she's not going to do just that. She's going to walk away from us. So what you got to do is you got to be all stealthy. All stealthy so this chick doesn't see you. You can't see me. You have to follow really slowly behind. And clearly she doesn't have 20-20 vision. I think if you crawl, you're less likely to be seen for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of like the pigs. We gotta be very careful. She's very sensitive about seeing people. You see me, lady? You see me rolling. Yeah, you really have to be careful here. Because she is so sensitive to hearing a sound. Like, if she hears, like, a leaf fall on the ground, she's like, oh, what's that? Alright, we're gonna be very careful around here. Who's that? Okay, please don't see me. I love that sound effect, it's so funny. Alright, she's gonna run away more. I'm just gonna keep following her, stalking her. She's got a little bit more to go. Alright, she's gonna go over there to that safe over there. Oh no, she's trying to rob the place. Cops, cops! Hold it right there, miss. <laughs> you startled me. What do you want? My heart is racing. You scared me. What are you? The kind of creep who goes around night scaring people? That's just plain mean, says the lady robbing this guy. Just who do you think you are anyway? An ally of justice. That sounds like something Batman would say. An ally of justice. A what? An ally of justice. I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please let me go. It's just an impulse. That's all. That's a bad idea. Why don't you say anything? Does this mean you're mad at me? Do you at least listen to the circumstances in my life and lead us up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. Sure. I was once the richest little but you tent in this town. Did you know that? But one day a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress. I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now, every day from morning until night, I'm busy working for the open air shop. So, as you see, at least I'm trying to settle in my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tell you your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events of my pitiful life? That's terrible. And to make things matters worse, for some reason, I can still figure out that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. It makes me so sad that I want to do something terrible. Grr. Do you understand my plight? Very well. And you'll let me go? Unfortunately, no. But why not? Because I'm honest. It's true. I know I'm gibbling over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I'll never do anything like that again. Ah, what an amazing feeling. I've let all my worries out of my heart while I actually feel refreshed. Amelia, thank you. Please take this. And with that, she gives us an empty bottle. There we go. Don't look at me like that. I don't steal it. I washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you got to say the cheapest things without blinking an eye. Hmm. So, um, I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Bye, thanks for tonight. Alright, goodbye, lady who is no longer a thief, I guess. The lady who I saved and got nothing from it. She didn't even acknowledge me as the guy who came over there and rescued her. But, oh well. So next thing we're going to do is climb up this ladder. 
we're actually going to activate the windmill thingy. Yeah, there's a switch over here. I forget what direction it has to be, though. I think the wind's got to be a certain direction. Here we have a little mini game, but we're not gonna play because that mini game is just really difficult to pull off. Alright, we're gonna go through this door now. There's a guy right there, but I don't think we need to talk to him. Let's talk. Fine night, isn't it? Oh, would you look at that? The Ferris wheel just started moving all on its own. Somebody must have started it up. I wonder who got the thing going again. I don't know who it was or where it was, but he must be one nice guy. Assuming, of course, that he's a guy. Funny thing, the thing is how it's finally moving again. You should go for a ride while you have the chance. You can jump on a gondola seat just around here. Trust me, little man. Alright, I don't think I can talk to him yet. Because I have to go talk to him soon. So we gotta get our fire arrows out of here and be prepared. Because we have like one shot and then we'll have to go all the way around here again. Alright, we miss. We epically miss. Here we go. Second try. And now I'll light up this uh, lighthouse. Shining light on the world. Make that chest appear on that little island we were about to, we were gonna explore at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> Alright, I believe we can use our Deku Leaf over here to get some. Gotta go through one of these doors or something. Alright, I hope the wind's this direction. Yep! Alright, please land on it, thank you. Uh, the door is locked. Dang it. You have to open it later. But, oh well, let's go get that chest down here. Just keep on rolling to it. There it is, oh, all the way over there. I have to go up here and go off of here and go flying over there. I don't think the wind direction's right. Alright, I'm gonna go south. Yep, that looks right. Alright, I'm gonna start in. There we go, let's open up this chest and see what we get. What did we get? What did we get? What could it be? What could it be? We got a piece of heart. We need one more to make a full heart container. Alright, so we're gonna go all the way over here again. We're actually gonna go back up to where that guy was and go talk to him again. Tinkle bottle. Legendary, pass it on, somebody says. Alright, let's just go going up here. Dang it, I don't have enough. I was gonna say, I think I needed uh, one more skull necklace. Alright, we're just gonna go back up here again. There's that guy again. He looks so cranky. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. Don't ram your head against the stairs, kids. <laughs> Alright, hey bro, what's up? I'm back. Fine night, isn't it? Do you see that little man? The light in the lighthouse has been re reunited. Check out the beam of light that sweeps out now, shining through the night's darkness. Seeing that brave beam shine the 
boom, you guys made me so happy. I just feel like giving somebody a present. So here, I'm giving this to you, little man. And we got another piece of heart. Completing another heart container on the second row and everything. Now Windfall is going to be even more lively than before. Hooray for everything. Yep. Alright, so yeah, he just gave us a present and another bribing a child moment. Alright, we're gonna go down here. I think that's all I really have to do right now. Actually, let's try and do that again. Wait, no, that's wrong. There we go. Daytime, shine your light. There's nothing else to do around here. Actually, I can't go talk to this guy. I buy a new thing. If you wish to speak with me, please insist. Alright, I gotta go over here for some reason. Yes, yes, you are the young master who purchased my sale. And last, with those funds, I have been able to open my sale. store. But I have to say that my poor little... It's not an instant success. In fact, it is a rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. Well, considering you don't advertise it, I guess that's a reason why. I ain't as tragic to turn your fence as you. In fact, I don't have a wide enough lineup of products. For I am, to be fully honest, I am, have one product. To put it another way, I think my stale, stall would do much better if only if I had stock rare items that people can't get here in town. Yes, that's, that's what I need. And we plenty of money, not just plenty of money, it'd be like taking candy from many rich babies. No, not even that. We're running a prosperous business. I can plant my, play my part to help this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, I said as a proper perspective. But dear me, if only I had a young partner to help me out, a real go-getter. Can I talk to you over here now, bro? I want that plant. Okay, I guess I had to talk to him again, maybe? Yes, that's now I take a longer look at you. I see you have a fine delivery bag, do you not? Dear me, is a fine fit for a hero delivery. I have a small request and requires the use of that bag. A request? Oh, dear me, I knew a young master. I knew you would understand my plight. It is a rather long-winded explanation, but please take this time to hear me out. My stall is kind of great a great general store that makes his money by attaining rare products and an expensive price and then selling them without a reasonable markup of course however because i have so few products to sell the shop remains rather deserted i'll sell anything i'm master of the sale i must need to get some new products we do not seek out traveling merchants and negotiate supply contracts with them for me no, no, do not look so frightened. I say contracts is just a word. You do not have to write anything very difficult. All I need you to do is trade one of my products for a new product that the merchant has in stock. You see, among merchants, this trade is proof of a contract. Say, say it is to say this is a merchant's oath. So that's why we call it yes, yes. Merchants have a sworn a merchant. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to sail through this. I understand perfectly. You are now my new salesman, he's saying. And with that, we got a town flower. Yay, now we can deliver it to some guy. Alright, blah blah blah, shut up. I don't care. Alright, I think we're done here now. We're actually gonna go to our uh, little oasis that's out at sea. And right on the King Red Lion is right over there. Yep! So if I remember the old hag's directions, I think it's southeast or something. I think it's down by Forsaken, for, or the Forest Haven. Let's go ahead and warp on over there and see what we can find. Alright, so we're back over here. Uh, I think that's it over there. So yeah, this next part is this is one of my favorite mini dungeons in the game. It's just a really nice spot, and to think it's yours now. It's a little like 12 year old kid's place now. Because clearly that one move is in your right to give a 12 year old his own 
island house place thing. We get to listen to all this peaceful music on the way there. Uh, so nice. Yep, there's the island right there. My new home. Sorry, Grandma. I'm not coming back home. I'm gonna live here now. Alright, I'm just gonna land over here. And get on with this mini dungeon. Yeah, this mini dungeon's very easy. Excuse me. Anything good in here? Nope. But you got like this little paradise here. You got a chair and stuff over here. You got a waterfall and you got your house. And you got this boat thingy here too. Alright, I don't see anything else around here. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you miserious little scamp. Ahem, this cabana belongs to the master and the master alone. You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel. Away with you. Away, I say. Oh, I see how it is, bro. Like, you just hate me that much. Alright, we're gonna show him this. The talking door, that's a new thing to see. Ooh, unclean, most foul. Don't lay those grungy hands. Oh, wait, that... That that's why that's are you are you the new master are you master josh i am so pleased to hear that name master josh please be gentle on this fine door <laughs> okay you were creeping me out there especially with that little heart there i don't know what's wrong with you bro but i think you need uh medical attention or something all right so we actually bring this out we can break these uh pot thingies and get rich Oh, look how much money I have. Money, 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 money. Unfortunately, there's some money up there, which I cannot get. Right, let's break these two down. Okay, some of that money needs to get down here. Really? It's in the fireplace? Oh, well. Alright, so next we're just gonna look up here and we have this little switch thingy up here. I don't know why there's a little switch thingy to turn the fireplace off. Let's go on down this hole. I don't even know why there's a hole here and there was a running fire right there. Gonna kill that little rat guy. He just drops a rupee. Okay, so this is a little maze area. You have to go down certain paths. I believe I gotta go this way, I think. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna settle or get down. Crawl, get a nice view of Link's butt. Just keep crawling, Link. Keep crawling. So yeah, just a little maze area. It's not that bad of a place, but trying to find your way around. I was never good at that. I think there's a little area right here. We got some pots around. Hey, we're rich. We're rich. We're rich. I'm so rich right now, I can't believe it. No wonder I own this place. Yeah, I love how a little kid here has like 1,884 rupees right now. <laughs> I'm the richest man on earth. Or Hyrule or whatever you want to call it. Alright, I hope I'm going the right way. Alright, I think so, yeah. Alright, we got some hammer switches, so let's throw the hammer down on them. And we're gonna hit this one too. Boom. Alright, one of these is the right way. What's over here? Okay, over there is just a way out. It's like a little shortcut in case you want to leave this area. But I don't want to leave this area right now. Let go. Kill that rat. Thank you. He's dead. He just drops a stupid ruby. Alright, I think we're going to go this way. I think there's lots of ways to take, to be honest. Let's crawl into here go this way. Over here. Let's go up this ladder. 
three dead in this place, which is crazy, considering I was going to live here and everything, but there's uh, three deads in my basement, so what do you know? Alright, please give me a nice crystal skull necklace. Nope, just rubies. I don't even need all this right now. Alright, crawl through here now. Let's hopefully find our way now. Like I said before, I've never been good at trying to find my way around here. Alright, I'm hoping this is the way. I haven't been down this hall, so maybe it's the right way. Maybe it's the wrong way. You never know. I hope it's the right way. So now we got another uh, wind marking area. Let's do the wind's requiem. That done, a chest will magically appear, summoning wind. All right, let's open this bad boy up and see what we get. What do we get? What do we get? I think it's something really special here. We got the Triforce shard. Seven more to go. That's right, we got our first Triforce shard. There's eight of them in the game. This is a lot less bigger of a of a pain in this version of the Wind Waker compared to the original one. Right, I'm trying to find my way out of here, but I'm not having much luck. I gotta go this way. Down here. And right there is my way out. Let's get on out of here. Let's get out of this house now. done with that and i think i'm gonna stop the episode right here so once again thank you all for watching if you liked the video make sure to hit that like button and please comment and subscribe to me all right thanks guys bye